morning YouTube. Um, basically, I'm going to post a video after I've spoke, obviously, regarding um, Venus, the planet Venus. Now, it appears in the sky first thing at night and last thing at morning. Um, and it can appear in the sky for weeks on end, and sometimes it can be there one night and not the next night. It just depends. It's got a weird, really weird rotation. But um, I've videoed it quite a lot. The first time I saw it, I videoed it with a Sony camera, and the focus wasn't very good because I didn't change the shutter speed, and it looked like a UFO. And I actually remember ringing Don Alco Pop. It was about a year and a half ago. I think the footage is actually on YouTube, and maybe I'll put, um, it's one of my first videos, maybe I'll put a link to it. Um, and then uh, later on I found um, Sirius managed to video that and with Orion's belt and all that sort of thing. That was about a year ago. Well, I haven't videoed it as much now because I know what it is, but a lot of people are seeing bright objects in the sky. And in some cases they're satellites, space stations and maybe even UFOs, which um cool. But uh, the footage I've been seeing recently has been Venus. Because Venus has distinct characteristics when it's recorded with video. It goes pink and green. When it goes out of focus, it looks like a little bit like um, Star Wars is. You know that planet they had with the grid at the bottom with the big round on the front? It looks like that a little bit when it's out of focus. Um, and that's usually because of your shutter speed. When you're videoing something um, where there's no light, you need to put more light in or take more light out. Now, if you put more light in, you need the camera on a tripod, otherwise it will wobble and you'll get traces. Well. My shutter speed on my camera goes down to one half and up to uh, 4,000. So 4,000 is letting hardly any light in. Um, and um, sometimes, like if you're going to video the moon, because it's quite bright, you'd put it on, say, 2,000 shutter speed. Where if you're going to video a star, because it's quite dim, you might put it on 150th shutter speed or 125 shutter speed. So anyone who sees objects in the sky in future that are are weird whether they're satellites, planets or even UFOs, try adjusting your shutter speed to get better focus and it's better to put it on a tripod because when you're zooming into a portion of the sky that is the equivalent to kind of that space, you, you've got that space movement with your camera. So your, you know, your lens can only move that much before it moves out of that square in the sky so it's really really difficult to video something at high zoom, hence why when I'm videoing things move a little bit and uh, sometimes it's because I've had my heartbeat or I'm just holding the camera and doing that with it or um, I'm standing on the floor near where the tripod is and it moves the tripod slightly um, but I'm going to add my latest footage of Venus where I've been adjusted this, this footage would be a bit weird um, I've adjusted the camera speed on different occasions throughout the whole shooting so you can see the different effects and what I'm going to try and do is remember what shutter speed I used at each point and actually put notations of that in the video so um, if you've seen this before in the sky I can guarantee you it's Venus peace, love and light for those of you who want to know about Venus there it is in the sky right there okay the sun's just gone down Zoom, 25 zoom, you know. Is that 75 zoom? That's a 600 zoom. Now, if I position around the sky, then I'll see how I move on my own. This is going in
Quite a, a really slow shutter speed. It's on a silent shutter speed.